and we're going to start with two 360s. I've got a fuchsia and I've got a white. I've got them tied together. The fuchsia has got about a hand and a half left uninflated on the end. The white, I've only blown about six or eight inches. We're not going to use all of that even. So we're going to start with the fuchsia. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a pair of fold twists. And each of these fold twists is about three or so fingers wide, as you can see there. I'm going to make another one, put them two. We sew together. Now we're going to take, remember to squeeze your 360s, keep them soft. You can do about a four finger bubble by, in each one by twisting the two of them together. So you've got that. And now we're going to take a little black scrap of 160. And as you can see, I've inflated it in the middle. So I've got a long tail on either end. Then I've got about four or five inches un, are inflated in the middle. I'm going to divide that into two equal bubbles. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to twist that into where these two are twisted together up here at the top. So twist that in. Twist them a couple of times to secure them and just leave them hanging like that. We'll come back to them in a minute. Now you're going to take, keep working them soft. You need two more bubbles the same size as these two here. So just twist these two together. to get two more, about four finger bubbles. Then you're going to bring that down and twist where these two are together into your two fold twists we created at the very beginning. <clears throat> twist those around a couple times to secure them in. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take these bubbles on top and just spin them around. And that helps make sure that they're pulled in really tight and snug there in the middle of those fold twists. Now this white we don't need. We're going to pop it off, secure that in. I'll tuck it up inside there. So now we've got that there. Sort of a alien bug looking thing. But we're not done yet, obviously. So now we're going to take the remainder of our 360. We're going to wrap up over these here going along the side here. This is going to make, obviously, our eyes. We're going to come up over. I'm going to squeeze it out a little softer. Make sure both of those blacks are coming to the front. Twist it in at the bottom like that. This is obviously the head of our dinosaur. Still looking a bit strange, but it's all good. So, now what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and complete these eyebrows. That's what these are the eyebrows, by the way. I'm sure you figured that out. I'm going to take the tail of one of these, and I'm going to push it back through. The one that wraps over the top of the head. See how it's going back into the back. Come out back. Go down, and I'm going to twist it around one of those bow twists a couple times different ways. I'll trim that in a minute. So there's our eyebrow. Then we'll do the same with the other. Poke it through. Bring it back to the back. Go down. Twist around. And then that part sticking out, just kind of poke it through a little bit. And then I'm going to take these two ends and just trim them off. So there's the beginning of the head of our dinosaur. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take my <clears throat> other fuchsia 360 and then I've got, this is one, I've got two separate ones. All right, we have two more left. This one only has about four fingers uninflated on the end. So I'm going to take that one and tie it to the nipple end of what's left of this one here. That helps make sure that when I bring this up, that it stays secured, and instead of having to twist a little bitty tiny nipple, I've got this to secure. We're going to take this and make a fold twist, and where I tie those two together, twist it up into the base of the head. So there's the first part of his mouth. Then we're going to take and make another fold twist out of the remaining part, about the same size as that first one. We'll twist it, twist it in. So now we have our dinosaur's head complete, as you can see. Now what you're going to do, we've got this remaining part. I'm going to give it a little squeeze. Always work it soft. Go down about a third, a little less than a third of the way down. Twist off a bubble and make a pinch twist. 
then you're going to go squeeze it again about five or six inches this will be for the body make another pinch twist and then what's left over will obviously be the tail so we have this strings looking thing here that will all make sense in a minute now we've got one more fuchsia 360 left this one got about a hand and a half left uninflated on it what we're gonna do I'm gonna it doesn't matter which end you start I'm gonna start with the one closest to the neck which would be the front of the dinosaur I'm gonna twist the end of it into that first pinch twist there like that and then you're gonna make I'll make about a hand and a thumb Then I'm gonna make a pinch twist. And just a round little bubble there. Not very large, maybe two fingers. Another pinch twist. Then we need another hand and a thumb, the same size as this one up here. And we're gonna twist back into that pinch twist where we started. Back around really good. So there are our front legs. Then we're going to go along the body, and I make this one a little softer, squeeze it up in there, twist it in that pinch twist in the back, and then we're going to make another assembly just like that. So you need about a hand and a thumb, a pinch, a round bubble, another pinch, another hand and a thumb. We got a little bit left over. What I'm going to go ahead and do. Go ahead and snip a hole in the end of that. That way I can let the air out. This way I can go ahead and tie it. Maybe. Like that. That way I know this end is secure and it's not going to be coming undone and letting air out up in here. And then twist that back into that pinch twist at the back of the body. And then you're going to take if you open those legs up just a little bit, you can shove that belly portion up into the legs. Give the tail a little bit of shape. Give the neck a little bit of shape. And there, really cute. It barely fits in the screen. 360 dinosaur. Now what I've done I took the neck and had it go up instead of sticking forward like it was before. And I can pull his cheeks back a little bit. And then he stands a little more upright like that too. Really cute. Lots of fun. And there you have our 360 long neck dinosaur. Really cute. Big. But even though it's big like this, it only takes four balloons and really not, well, five balloons if you count. A little bit of a scrap, but it really doesn't take that long to do at all. Oh, hey, oh, hey, sorry to interrupt. Just a reminder, anything that can be made with 360s can be made with 260s. You get a slightly smaller, cute version. Don't forget to tell them about that. Yeah, good tip. Oh, I sometimes forget to remind people of that, but that's good to know. I'm just going to leave this here. Great, thanks. We'll see you next time. There you go. Anything with a 360 can be made with a 260, or anything with a 260 can be made with a 360 or 160. Or how we're going to go just to give you different sizes. And when you make it with the 260s, it only takes two of the fuchsias, not three. So a little bit faster as well. Thanks. Have a great day. Stay twisted.